Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a new project introduction I am doing in collaboration with my good friend Elizabeth, who is also known as Shiny Happy Pans over on Instagram, if you're not following her at this moment in time. And you have an Instagram account, please go over to your Instagram account and go follow her. She is a wonderful project panner and she posts, she's got a funny sense of humor about life and project panning. And I think uh, if you like me, you would love her. Liz comes up with a lot of great ideas for project pans and she ropes me in regularly. But one project that we have been talking about doing for years now and are finally gonna do this year is a classic project 10 pan. And this is a concept that's like, as far as I understand, is what started the project panning concept. Whoever, I don't know who it was. I'm sure that her name is out there. Somebody out there had the idea of going on a low buy, I believe, or a no buy until they finished 10 items. And once they finished 10 items, they could buy themselves something new. I believe that was how project panning got started. And obviously since then, Project panning has taken many twists and turns and there's a lot of variation. However, um, Liz and I have been talking about doing a classic Project 10 pan for absolute years, but um, I think I was kind of the hold up in other years. I felt like I had too much going on and I couldn't add on another Project 10 pan on top of what I was already doing, but I felt like this was a good year to do it. Um, here's what Liz and I are doing. This project is going to last one year long. So it should be going up tomorrow, which will be February 11th. It was supposed to go up on February 5th, but my inventory held us up a little bit. But this will be going from February 11th, 2024 until February 11th, 2025, or until we finish the 10 items, whichever comes first. And if one of us or both of us can finish all 10 items completely in this project, the other one of us will be treating that winner to a, a little shopping spree. So Liz said she's gonna buy me some products if I complete my Project 10 Pan and I will buy her some products if she completes her 10 Pan. I'm down for that. I am very excited. Now, because I have no idea like how many points the will be coming in. I have decided that I'm changing the rules of my low buy rules for this project alone. So as I'm finishing these 10 products that I'm choosing, I'm not gonna give myself a point for my low buy bank. However, if I could finish all 10 items and Liz buys me a gift, I'm not going to count up how many points her gift is worth whatever those points are i'm just going to accept them into my inventory and i'm not it's not going to be reflected in my low buy balance so these 10 products going out are not going to be reflected in my low buy balance but whatever she buys me which i would assume would be more than uh 10 points worth of products knowing liz i'm not going to count against my low buy or towards my low buy against my low buy i hope that makes sense i'll probably be discussing that more, but that's what I'm thinking is the most fair so that um, I'm not double rewarding. I'm not, re I'm not rewarding myself twice for finishing these products, but I'm also not going to um, damage my low buy too much when, if, if I should finish all 10 items and I should receive a gift from Liz, I'm just going to receive it and not punish myself for it. And I'm kind of excited about that idea. I don't think Liz will go ham. I think Liz is give I think if I should finish all 10 items, Liz is going to buy me something small-ish, but it might be worth more than 10 points. Because ultimately, according to my low buy rules, 10 points would only be five products. And if she buys me like a quad, that would be four products right there. I don't know. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what she's thinking, but I just didn't want to punish myself for this if I should finish all 10 items and receive a gift. So let me show you what the 10 items are. I feel like my makeup is a little eye heavy, but I am using that smoky uh, dark green from my Pan That palette. And um, I don't know, I'm a little distracted by my eyes right now. Uh, I had a, a neighbor come to my door a little while ago and I think I scared him. Anyways. <laughs> Let's get into the 10 products that I'm putting in this project. Obviously for this 
to work, I really had to scour my stash and look for things that I could reasonably finish within a year. And um, we'll see, I, hopefully hopefully they are, hopefully I could do it. Um, the first product is the only non-makeup product that I have in this project, and it is this body spray right here. This is a Victoria's Secret Garden Fragrant Body Splash in Secret Crush. I did have this in a project at some point because there's marks, progress marks all up and down it. But this is my current starting point right here, and it is about two thirds gone. And I have been working on this already a little bit, um, not too much, but I, I have, I knew I wanted to put this in this project for about a month now, and it's been sitting on my bathroom counter, so I've been using it here and there. But I just made the starting point mark for today, and this is where we're starting for for this project right now. And I'm pretty confident I can get through this this year. Um, this was a scent that in over the years I've really loved, but at this moment, at this time, I'm not in love with it. It's good, but I'm not going to be sad once this is gone. Um, and yeah, I, I'm trying to eliminate all of my body splashes. So to have this bottle that's almost gone, just sitting and taking up space in my home seems crazy. So I'm really excited to be working on this again and to hopefully finish it off this year. The next product was in my Six by Santa last year. I knew I wanted to work on it again this year and I just had to find the right project for it. And this is it. That is my e.l.f. eyelid primer. I am hoping to finish this off this year. From what I understand, there isn't an amazing amount of product in these and that has been my experience with this product as well. It is an excellent eye primer. I really like it, but there's not a ton of product in here and I've already been working on it. So I'm hoping I could finish this off this year in this project and move this out of my inventory. Next is the cream bronzer side of this dual ended stick. I have been loving this cream bronzer. That's how much I have left. This was in Project 10 Uses, I believe. I believe this was in Project 10 Uses. I used it 10 times, but um, I, I've really been impressed with this bronzer and I feel like I could get through it. I feel like it's going relatively fast. I am planning to start another bronzer, but for comparison, that's how much um, this product was in this when it was brand new, and this is how much I have. So I've already used up about half between Project 10 uses and the amount I've used it since then. So even though I do plan to be working on another cream bronzer throughout most of this year, I still think I should be able to finish this off as well. All right, this next product was in a project can't remember which one I want to say maybe um yeah I don't even want to guess maybe deck of panning maybe friends project pan I don't remember what project this was in but this has never left my bathroom since it rolled out of whatever project it was in I love this pencil this is a Laura Geller incredible waterproof gel eyeliner I use this all the time in my waterline I'm not wearing it today I have a different product on but um I also like this on my top lashes as well this was one of those pencils that was like up to here when it was brand new and that's all I have left. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be sad when this is gone. It's a really good eyeliner, but if you saw my makeup inventory, you know I have a crap ton of black eyeliner. So gotta keep moving them out. This next product is currently in Project 10 uses and the update for that should be coming very soon. But spoiler alert, I've used it way more than 10 times. I have completely fallen in love with this product. I had to find another project to put it in immediately because I want to pan this product. It has been so good. And that is this concealer from LA, LA Girl. LA Girl. This has been sitting in my inventory for years and I've never used it until I put it in Project 10 uses. And I think it's amazing. I love the color. I love the consistency. This is a really good product. I bought this back when this was being hyped up really hard on YouTube. Like every influencer was using this in their get ready with me's, but I never use it. It's just been sitting around and I just figured oh, I'll get to that eventually. I'll get to that eventually. It is so good. And I feel like I have, well, I got the air bubble out obviously, but I've already used a ton of product and I can't stop using it. Not only have I used this as an under eye concealer, which I'm wearing, it is an under eye concealer today and I love it. I've also used it as a mixer with a foundation that is a little bit too dark for me right now. I've also used it as an eyelid primer and it works pretty darn well as an eyelid primer, although typically I don't use concealers as eyelid primers. This works. I have been 
loving this. It is great and I can't stop using it. The And the tone, this is the shade Natural and this tone just works really well for me. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's a little bit peachy, which works good for me and my under eyes. And I love it. I'm so excited to keep working on this. I'm so glad I don't have to put it away after Project 10 uses. It's going in this project. I have one more product that was previously in a project pan. And again, I don't remember which project pan it was in because it's been a long time, but that is this deluxe sample of Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. Um, I have already hit pan on this. That doesn't mean it's on its last leg. There's still quite a bit of product in there, but I've done some damage to it. This is a nice bronzer. I like it a lot. It's not the bronzer I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a bron. I do have another bronzer in Pan and Every Palette right now, and that is the bronzer I'm currently wearing. So I will be splitting my time between two powder bronzers for a while. But I think in order for me to have any chance of finishing this project in a year, I'm going to have to prioritize this one over that one. So maybe I'll be wear trying to wear this like two thirds of the month, and that one like one third of the month, something along those lines. But yeah, I would like to try and, this is another product that's never left my bathroom. A lot of these products I'm putting in my, this project were in projects a long time ago and I never was able to quit them. And this is another one. It's been in my bathroom this whole time. I haven't had it in a project in what feels like forever, but I always knew I wanted to come back to it. And now is the time. The last four products I'm putting in this project are products that I ran across while doing my inventory and felt like they would be good for this project, but they've never been in a project. Well, one of them was in a project a very, very long time ago, but the rest have never been in a project. Um, this eyeshadow stick. When I was doing my inventory and looked at this, I was like, what am I doing with this little nubbin of an eyeshadow stick? I cannot tell what the brand is. I'm sure if I had a magnifying glass, I could read it. It's either Avon or Alme or Clinique. I can't tell. It is so tiny. I could tell the shade is called Coco Pearl. This is um, the eye base I have on today. Not that you could tell. But this is it right here. And I have used it probably about five times since doing my inventory of my eyeshadow sticks. It's loose in here, so I could pull it all the way out. If I pull it all the way out, that's how much product is in there. I don't know if I'm going to try and use the whole thing or if I'm just going to use the part that's above the package level, but this is what it looks like. I'm confident I can get through this either way this year, and yeah. All right, this next product was a pan from my Pan That Palette in, I believe, 2017. In 2017, I panned a palette called the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. It was my very first Pan That Palette, and I was really scared to tackle an eyeshadow palette, so instead, I tackled a face palette. And hopefully there's a picture up on the screen right now, but this came with a cream blush, and maybe a cream highlighter, and then a bronzer, a powder blush. I don't know, there was like six products. It wasn't the biggest palette. And when, obviously I didn't finish the entire palette at the end of the year. And I don't know how long it took, but at some point I depotted the palette and I tossed the packaging, I tossed the pans that I did use, and I put the rest of the pans that weren't finished in a Z palette. And as I was doing my inventory this year, I remember coming across this pan of blush and I couldn't recall where this pan came from. And it wasn't until I was editing the video a few days later that it dawned on me that this is the blush from that palette. So this is a Too Faced blush from the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. And because it was my pan that palette, I've used quite a bit of it. There's no pan yet, but I worked on this for an entire year. And if you guys know what I've been talking about a lot lately, I'm really into peachy blushes, something like Milani Luminoso. I think this is a close enough dupe to Milani Luminoso that'll give me a lot of the same vibes. Right now I'm wearing a very pinky blush, which is fine. I, I still love my pinky blushes, but most days this is what I want to reach for. And I am so excited to be working on this again. And I hope I could finish it off. This is probably going to be the toughest product out of everything I've put in this project, knowing how long it takes to finish a blush, knowing how much I've already worked on this and how much product is still in here. But 
we're gonna try i hope i can finish it it's it's tiny i mean look it's just a tiny little pan but you know how it goes and Too faced powders are just so tightly pressed in their package like other powders from other brands have a lot of kick up but Too faced there's no kick up i don't know all right the last two products are lip products this next one is one that i've been wanting to put in a project for years and have just never gotten around to doing it it is the last of my revlon lip glides this product is probably 20 years old. I mean, I've had this since, I don't know, college-ish. Um, I had three of these at one time. I panned the other two, and this is the last one. I can't tell you anything about the shade because all of the writing has worn off except for a little bit of, of writing down here where it says lip glide. But this just looks like a kind of shimmery pink, you know? nothing too offensive it's basically like a gloss um and i i have used it i can't tell how much i've used it but i'm hoping it won't take me too long to get through this i have put a lot of lip products into projects for this year some of them might end up having usage goals some of them have already gotten a lot of use on them so hopefully it won't take me too long to finish but i feel like i have some lofty goals for lip products this year and i don't do very well with panning lip products but Obviously, to an extent, I will be prioritizing this one in the hopes of getting it finished this year. And the final product is another lip product, but it's more of a lip balm than a colorful lip product. This is the Almay Pure Tints. Uh, it looks like it's just a clear balm in a skinny tube. The fill line at the bottom of the pack product is like right here. So there's still quite a bit of ways to go through this. I don't remember the last time I worked on this, if ever. So hopefully I can finish this this year. Hopefully I can move this out of my inventory. I did not do very well for panning lip balms this year. So hopefully I'll do better in 2024. Those are the 10 products I will be working on in this project. Updates will be monthly on or around the 11th. Don't forget to check out Liz if you're not already following her over on Instagram. You could see her intro today as well. And um, I'm really excited to start working on these 10 products and I'm cautiously optimistic as always that I'm going to be able to finish all of them and I will get a shopping spree from Liz. A sensible shopping spree, of course. But yeah, that's going to be it for this introduction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.